Party's over, Generation Hexers. While you were out getting divorced and refinancing your mortgage and fun things like that, OpenAI built your replacement. And it only needs enough electricity to power Los Angeles. Tonight, we're going to party like your job ends in September 2025, because it just might. And why is this channel causing more whiplash than uh, Mrs. Carol Brady's parking lot crashes? Because the clues just dropped harder than your 401k in 2008. Remember that? Chat GPT-5 is about to make us all as obsolete as a pager in a Tesla. OpenAI's Chat GPT-03 Alpha just placed second in the world's hardest coding competition. Their math AI won gold, as we talked about last episode, at the International Math Olympiad. They secured enough power to light 3.6 million homes. Sam Altman, the uh, co-founder of OpenAI, admits AI is already doing what humans used to do. So please think of your old Uncle Rod at this time, even though you might be worried about yourself. You know, I know at this time a lot of you are out there saying, gee, I know, I wonder how this is going to affect me, Rod Miller. Yeah, old, uh, old Saturday Night Live joke. I, I can't help but bring those up. I miss it. I miss that show. Know how this is going to affect me, Al Franken. But if you would hit that subscribe button, I would appreciate it. And the thumbs up button means you like it. And uh, maybe I can buy a pack of bologna with my uh, chat GPT check until I die, which is, I guess, all we need, right? Don't need bologna after you're dead. You know, remember not so long ago when we all thought we would get to retire at age 55 with our po portfolios intact? Yeah, well, psych. Turns out the machines we helped build in the 90s grew up to murder our careers. Kind of like having a, a serial killer or your kid become a serial killer, except this kid is ChatGPT and the victims are everyone who learned HTML in 1997. You don't commit to powering 3.6 million homes unless you know what's coming. This isn't speculation. These guys aren't out there just spending money because they like to. This is certainty. They've seen ChatGPT5, and they're building infrastructure for something that needs more power than Los Angeles. Oracle's expanding data centers across Texas, Michigan, Wyoming, each one a monument to Generation X's obsolescence. The Abilene site alone uh, is two gigawatts. That's not for a chatbot. That, that's real work. That's for real work. Um, August 2025, GPT-5 launches as Reuters reports an AI system incorporating distinct models performing different functions. Translation, one system that does everything you thought made you special. One evidence this isn't hype or me being a fear monger -er -er, as some people in the comments say occasionally. Like I said, O3 Alpha just got second place at the AT Coder World Tour Finals. Out of every programmer on Earth, only one human could beat it, a former OpenAI employee. That's like beating your wife at, at uh, strip poker because you cheat and she lets you. Might as well get it over with. <laughs> Ooh, it got kind of... Yeah. Their math model, goal at the International Math Olympiad. Problems that take human geniuses hours solved by machines in minutes. Alexander Way from OpenAI revealed they achieved this through general purpose reinforcement learning, which means, boys and girls, the AI is teaching itself. It's teaching itself to be smarter than us. No human guidance, no limitations, just pure accelerating intelligence that makes your college degree look like finger paintings done by my grandson, which are pretty cute, I think. Meanwhile, 33,000 jobs deleted in June when analysts expected the economy to add 100,000. They missed it by that much, just a bit outside. That's a 133,000 job swing, like expecting a promotion and getting a pink slip instead. Had that happened to me. Microsoft, 9,000 humans eliminated. Amazon promises brutal workforce cuts. Microsoft's executive told the fired workers to use AI for therapy. That's KI to help you through the fact that you just got fired because of ChatGPT. <laughs> Sam Altman just told podcaster Theo Vaughn the truth. When a Louisiana comedian understands existential dread better than Silicon Valley CEOs, 
you know we're screwed. Vaughn asked, how will people survive? And Altman basically said, that's a you problem, chief. AI is doing all this stuff that humans used to do, past tense, used to do, past like, you know, Ozzy, the Hulk, and Theo. Too soon? Sorry. Vaughn pressed about human purpose disappearing. Altman's response? We'll need to remake the idea of what it means to contribute to society. Translation, your current purpose is as dead as MTV's music programming. I'm behind here. But you say, wait, wasn't Rod just saying AI couldn't tie its own shoes? Yes, I sure was. Yippers. But I was also saying that could change any minute, you know, and uh, I think that minute is coming pretty soon here in August. Altman said the transition will be deeply unsettling for those whose livelihoods are displaced. Deeply unsettling. That's billionaires talk for uh, sucks to be you. Even AI's evangelists are panicking. A top AI educator admitted when token limits come off, when multiple mo models merge, models, I'm sorry, merge, when the infrastructure goes live, we don't know what happens next. Gee, that's profound. <laughs> we don't know what happens next. Yeah, well, no, nobody does. Or maybe OpenAI's uh, inner circle, maybe they do. And, you know, we're already dumbing down work. That's the problem. We're, we're like, we're tokenizing what we do. We're basically saying, hey, AI, this is what I do here in my job. You know, so we don't really have a choice, though. But that's what we're told to do. So that's what we do because we'll lose our job if we don't. But if we keep doing it, we're going to lose our jobs because we did. Strangely, or at least unexpectedly, medicine may be among the first to fall. Microsoft's AI, 80% accuracy diagnosing complex conditions. Human doctors, 20%. Johns Hopkins AI spots deadly heart conditions doctors can't even see. Remember when we used to tell our kids, hey, be a doctor. They'll always need doctors. Well, the code learned to heal, heal apparently. Now it's diagnosing can cancer better than the doctor who's still paying off med school. Your kid's pre-med degree worth less than your CD collection, which actually is climbing in value. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to look on the good side, see something good out of all this. Once AI accesses everything, medical records, work history, even digital footprints, it won't just replace you. It'll be a better version of you and me. Instant expertise, perfect memory, no hangovers, no midlife crisis, no desperate 3, 3 a.m. Uh, Amazon purchases. August 2025, circle it on your calendar. Might as well do it in crayon since they're not any as human intelligent types any longer. So basically, that's it there, uh, Generation X. The party that started when MTV played uh, music. You know, we went from video killed the radio star to AI killed most employment. These guys built the infrastructure. They proved the capability. They need Los Angeles levels of power because these aren't chatbots. They're replacement minds that think faster, better, and cheaper than our Prozac addled brains ever could. August 2025, when they flip the switch, we become the ultimate latchkey generation. Only this time, we're the ones coming home, not the kids. The only question left, will you, will you document your extinction? Will you... Document's not the right word. Will you... Try to postpone your extinction. Will you try to learn all about AI you, as possible that you can in this limited time maybe that we have left? Didn't you just say we had lots of times? Said that could change tomorrow. Tomorrow's here, boys and girls. ChatGPT5 must be something. It must really be something. Uh, what it sounds like to me and what I've read is it sounds like an agent. I'm going to get crucified for saying this but it sounds like an agent combined with a bunch of smaller it sounds like an llm combined with a bunch of smaller agents that support it now we've been talking about agents ai agents and what they're going to do but this sounds like something different this sounds like you know just a uh, almost job of the hut sitting there and all those his little minion running around doing things for him it's what it kind of sounds like but, so, another way to get crucified is in the comment section is to say, learn all you can about it. But, again, learn all you can. There may not be anything to learn. There may not be anything you can do. But I, for one, I'm not going to give up, and I don't think you should either. Uh, keep trying. 
keep uh, keep learning. Why not? What else do you have to do? I mean, Ballard on Prime Video was pretty good. I mean, uh, I'm a huge Harry Bosch fan, and it appears he's gone, but he shows up in Ballard. Uh, I'm Rod Miller, and I really hope I'm wrong, but I'm afraid we're all about to be partying like it's 1999 in the unemployment line. I'll see you next episode.